Today, the United Nations Development Programme unveiled its 2023-2024 Human Development Report. The report, which was launched at Makerere University, reveals Uganda's significant progress in enhancing its citizens' well-being, positioning it as second only to Kenya within the East African region. Uganda has for the first time moved to the category of medium human development, positioned 159 out of 193 countries and territories. This is something we need to recognize and celebrate the progress the country is making in the human development front. Uganda's HDI, that's the Human Development Index, of 0 0.550 is above the average of 0 0.549 for sub-Saharan African countries. However, it still falls below the global average of 0 0.739. Prime Minister Robin Anabanja, who was the guest of honor, affirmed government's dedication to enhancing service delivery, signaling a strong commitment to national development. We must combat divisions and strengthen service delivery mechanisms to address the common needs of our population and pave way for a more equitable and sustainable future. As we embark on this journey, let us draw inspiration from the progress we have so far made as a country. The report raises questions about the criteria UNDP used to elevate Uganda's ranking especially since it is facing substantial corruption challenges. The, uh, the human development is being measured by a three dimension, which is the, the health, long, healthy life, access to knowledge, access to education, that's uh, another one, then, then the standard of living, which is the access to the water, food, energy, those kind of things. Despite notable progress, the report identifies specific areas where Uganda must focus its improvement efforts. Addressing gender inequality, women economic empowerment, particularly addressing issues related to the, the teenage pregnancy and uh, the getting more girls into the secondary education. The UNDP Human Development Report adopts a comprehensive approach by evaluating countries based on human development metrics rather than solely on income per capita. According to the UN, there are all indicators that Uganda is moving or graduating from the least developed countries to the medium low income countries. But all these will be dependent on several other factors if they remain constant. That is in terms of economic income per capita and also environmental vulnerability. And also this can all be declared after three years when another review will be done by the same UN. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV.